Oops, I'll pause it. Um, here we are in the back, and this is the next step of the pottery process. Hello. <laughs> um, so what we're doing right now is we're about to load a kiln. Um, we're going to be firing this kiln to cone six, which is a mid-range firing um, inside the kiln here. So what we're doing is we're setting up to put um, some shelves in the bottom of the kiln. You never want to load directly onto the kiln brick here um, because the glazes can drip and the kiln brick is pretty fragile, rip it right apart. Um, kiln works using these things, these are called elements, they run through the whole kiln. This is what heats the kiln. We've got um, three tiers, the bottom and the middle and the top, um, and they all kind of heat um, the different levels of the kiln. Uh, heat up using things called relays. So there's a few, I can't remember if this has two or three relays in here that mm -hmm. physically um, tell these elements when to turn on, how hot to go, how long to stay on, all that kind of good stuff. We've got the new fangled uh, digital ones, which are really nice, set it and forget it. Um, so we're just gonna set this to cone six in, in a bit here. Um, we're gonna be loading up all these pieces here. Now the pieces go in, um, this particular firing and most firings, you have to make sure the bottom stays bare because um, the glazes are going to liquefy and then re-solidify through the firing process. And when they re-solidify, they'll stick right to your shelf. And that is a nightmare because shelves are expensive. Um, the other way we fire is this way over here um, where we paint the bottom. But if you can see real close here, there are these little markings right there. That's from a stilt that we stilt these ones up because it's a lower temperature firing. We have that option. Um, and that allows like the general public who are coming in to paint it's a little easier so they can paint the whole thing don't have to be thinking about that. So we're going to pop some shelves in here and we're going to start loading. The really important thing about loading, um, I'm grabbing one more of these guys, Yeah. Uh, about loading a glaze kiln in particular is the pieces can't touch. If they touch they stick together. Um, when we fire the pieces the first time, the disc firing uh, before they're glazed, the pieces can touch, they can stack and they can stick together. Thank you so much for that lesson. No problem. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. <laughs>